Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros. And today we bring you a $700 gaming PC sponsored by Antec. Antec was nice enough to sponsor once again a gaming PC build. And today we're showcasing the Draco 10. I totally forgot what it was for a moment there, but the Drago 10 case, which is a nice budget case that I think comes with some RGB up front, but we'll look more at that in a little bit. And also their, well, Neo Eco Gold Zen power supply, a 500 watt power supply. Ante makes some awesome cases and power supplies for budget gaming PC builds. So be sure to check the links down below to check out all their products and everything else that they offer. So yeah, let's just talk about each part and how it makes up this $700 gaming PC build. So for the CPU, we have one of the best budget CPUs in the market. This is the Intel i3-10100F. It does not have any type of graphics built into it, but it does have four cores and eight threads that have very strong single core performance. And you can get these for $92 to $99, making them a really good deal. What? What? Now for the motherboard, we have the Gigabyte B560M DS3H. This is just one of the best budget boards out there. It's micro ATX, has some extra fan headers on it, lots of USB, lots of expandability for it being just a micro ATX board in the DS3H series, you really can never go wrong with. That's what you got there, buddy. <laughs> For RAM, we have this PNY Accelerate 16 gig kit and it is 3200 megahertz. It's RGB, it's their Accelerate lineup, looks really nice, has this nice black heat sink on it. The stuff performs really well, it always overclocks easily, so we like it. Now for storage, we have this Silicon Power 512 gig Gen 3 NVMe SSD. It is a Gen 3 SSD that'll pop right in this board, no extra power cables or anything like that. And it is just a 10th Gen i3, so you couldn't do Gen 4 even if you wanted to. Now for the graphics card, we have a used market option here. This is a GTX 970, more specifically an MSI GTX 970. Looks really nice, it's got that black and red color scheme going on here. Um, but yeah, the 970 is a pretty good car on the used market right now. Is it overpriced? Yes, but it is still better priced than most of the other offerings out there. And we really like it for uh, budget gaming PC builds nowadays. Because Jackson, forgot to talk about this, I get to talk about it. <laughs> this is an up here uh, CPU cooler. This is their RGB one. I don't remember the exact model name of this thing, but it is a CPU cooler. It's a little bit better than the stock cooler. You don't really need an aftermarket cooler for an i3, but we wanna make this build look nice and cool and please all you people out there who get mad when we use the stock cooler. Now for the power supply. Big thanks again to Antec for sending this over. This is their Neo Eco Gold Zen power supply. 500 watts, 80 plus gold. Antec has some of the best power supplies in the game and they're pretty fairly priced for what they are. Um, we're gonna be putting that again inside this, the Draco 10, which has a pretty cool front, has good ventilation right here. Not like the absolute best for airflow, but you know what? It looks good. Has an RGB strip right here. And uh, yeah, I don't think it has any RGB fans pre-installed, just mainly that RGB up front. So what we're gonna be doing is, well, not adding RGB. Maybe, I don't know. We might have some RGB we'll throw in here because we are the Toasty Bros. But um, yeah, love this case. Looks really cool and is very budget friendly. And last but certainly not least, Link Up sent over these, well, sleeve cables. These are silver. So yeah, Whoa. they're cool. Whoa. They're great. And yeah, let's just build this PC now.
All right, guys, now that we have this $700 gaming PC all booted up and ready to go, let's talk about a couple benchmarks real quick. Now, we sat this PC in a handful of titles, those being Apex Legends, Borderlands 3, Splitgate, and Warzone. First up in Apex Legends, on medium settings at 1080p, we averaged about 90 FPS. We did notice a few issues where when we were loading into Apex into an arenas mode, we were getting a lot of stuttering at the start, but that did settle down after we played one round. So maybe it's a weird bug with Apex. You all can let me know down below, but that 970 is being pushed to 100%. And we all know the GTX 970 is an older card. It's not the greatest thing in the world right now. Um, so it could be a uh, bottleneck in this system in newer games that are very well VRAM dependent because it has technically three and a half gigs of VRAM, not four, three and a half. Um, and most newer games are really wanting four gigs of VRAM. So um, any newer title, you might have some issues with the 970. But if you do some optimized settings, I think you'll be perfectly fine. As you can see in Apex, as things start to settle out, we do get a pretty smooth and good gaming experience. A high refresh rate one if you really want to. Next up in Borderlands 3 on medium settings at 1080p, we average 73 FPS. Borderlands 3 is our AAA benchmark of choice, and it is really, really demanding on most GPUs. So getting over 60 FPS on medium settings is still pretty impressive. You could easily play the newer AAA titles on medium low settings at 1080p and get 60 FPS with the 970. I know, again, it's a 970. Back in well 2019 early 2020 you could pick up a 1660 or a 1660 super for around the same price and it would definitely crush these benchmarks but you know we live in these times this is the best we can get and a 970 is still decent when comparing the rest of the market right now Next up is Splitgate, which is our esports title of choice. On max settings at 1080p, we got 200 plus FPS. And before you comment down below, will this run Fortnite? Yes, it will run Fortnite and pretty much any esports title you throw at it, no problem whatsoever. You don't need the latest and greatest GPU to play games like Fortnite, Splitgate, Valorant, um, and all the other esports titles that you all like to play um, easily over 100 plus FPS. And you can have a good high refresh rate gaming experience as well with a 970 and i3 10100, which is still a very capable CPU. You. And last but certainly not least is Warzone on a mixture of low medium settings. We got about 70 FPS. In recap, this is a pretty decent budget rig. A few years ago, this probably would be a five to four hundred fifty dollar PC, but given the market, it's seven hundred bucks. Um, is that awful? No, it's not awful given the market, but it could be better. And this is a good basis though of a system to upgrade later. You have the i3, 10th Gen i3, that could easily be upgraded to something like a, I don't know, i5 11 400 or 10 400. And then you could slap in a RTX 3060 and have a really, really capable gaming rig. That's not to say it's not very capable now, but it has a lot of room to grow, and that's the best thing about this market right now, is there are a lot of CPU options that can pair with older GPUs and hold you over for now and allow you to upgrade in the future. So if you want to build this PC, check the link in the description down below, and be sure to pick up that Antec case and power supply, because they were nice enough to sponsor this video, and they do pair very well with the components for this build. How are we going to bring Jackson back in here to wrap this video up real quick? All right, guys, so obviously, based on those benchmarks, it games, and it games pretty well, especially for the price. $700 in 2021 isn't going to get you what it used to, but the GTX 970 is still a very capable card, and if you want to build this gaming PC right now, today, links in the description down below will be affiliate links, and it will help us out, and big thanks again to Antec for sponsoring this build. Definitely check out this case and power supply using the links down below. So as always, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toaster Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. So Matt, I noticed your shirt has no text on it or anything fun. Yeah, it's not that cool, but you know what is cool? Our merch. Over on Teespring, link down below, we have a lot of cool merch that uh, allows you to show your uh, Toasty Bros support. So uh, link down below. Oh, and PC Bros support. Yeah, buy our merch. Goodbye.